Hi guys, how are you? I think all are fine and hope will be fine. In this video, I am going to explain how to create a simple React app to create a slides container. Here you can observe the header container and a new button to add a new slide. You can see a new slide has been added with heading and description. And if you observe as soon as the page loads, the default value is selected just like a first slide. And you can see a normal, some random data and you can click on this, you can click on this. Using state functionality, I have implemented all these things and you can edit the content of these things at any point of time, just like heading and you can edit description by double clicking on that. Now we going, we'll go for the code guys. See here, I have written the code guys. Here, this is the app.js file. This is the main file where I have written the code. You can observe this is the random data and I have used five files to write all these codes header file new button file slide slide list item and slides and this is a context file where you can see that these all are the empty things so that whenever a new button item is clicked you can easily add a new slide item within some empty space by adding default values and the active index will be zero because it will add immediately after the first slide and coming to the app.js file you can observe these slides see guys this is the render function and I have used the react context uh, so, uh, where you can observe the provider and uh, in the letter components I have used the consumer also and you can see the initial list this is the initial list this is the active index so that the same tab will be highlighted and coming to the change active tab I have written all the functionalities for uh, changing the tab adding a new item changing heading or changing description another user clicks on the responding items and this is the new button and this is the slides Okay guys, let's see then change active tab ID. See, the, see guys, this change active tab ID. Since we have to highlight the background of the tab ID, we can say that this is the active index and this is the value of the index of the particular tab ID. And coming to the new item, we can see that const active index so that we can get the index of the particular tab. And you can see the initial list. And here I am changing the list. It's, uh, it's nothing but updating the list. So, and I'm changing the index and I'm assigning an index also. This is the better way to rename, to modify the list. First, you have to unpack the list and you have to assign it. Otherwise, the state function will not re-render and the new slide will not get updated for you. Okay, guys, without late, we'll go. This is the header component where you can see a simple thing. This is the simple image element and heading element. The same can be observed here. A image element and a button element and coming to the new button element you can see that it's a consumer file as soon as we click on that particular item these functionality same will be called in called in the context guys context index.js file you can observe these are the empty things with default values and coming to the slide it's a single slides guys so if the uh, by on clicking the heading you can able to change the heading by seeing the state it is if it is false it you cannot able to change and if you double click on it it will get changed guys see you can see the same functionality this sort such true and true so that you can easily change by using event or target that value and coming to the slides list item you can observe guys so that you can directly go uh, i am since i have used the list component you can see that active styling and test id on click on click test tab and paragraph it's just like a serial number and in the it's the under container containing heading and description and coming to the slides you can see all these things where you can see initial list so that you can import the same thing from slides list item and slider context and slide and if you observe correctly this is the state value of const here we can pass this value as a prop to this particular thing and i will use the map functionality to see that the particular ID will be a particular tab will be highlighted and this is the final output guys see 